Laura's house. Look, look, prepare what? for launch. All right, prepare for launch. <laughs> Tonight is uh, Laura's work Christmas party, and so or holiday party. I will be joining her for that. So I've brought my clothes with me. I've brought a bottle of champagne. My mom is staying here to watch Maverick tonight. It's gonna be fun. I'm not wearing jeans. for the day. I think we're gonna do a little baking day today, which should be really, really fun. Maverick and Laura are out in the living room. Uh, Andrew's in the bathroom getting ready. I've got myself dressed. And the last thing I need to do is just put on a little bit of makeup. So for today's video and my partnership with Merit, I think it would be fun to do like my top, top favorite products from them. So they have 10 products in their roster. I was right about that in the last video, 10 products in their roster. And I thought it would be fun to show you my top three favorites with an honorable mention. This was honestly really, really hard to do. I'm sure one of these is not gonna be any surprise to you because I've raved on and on about it for ages, but I've done the rest of my makeup except for these items. And I thought it'd be fun to just put those on and then show you my top things in case you wanna give it a try, then you have my top recommendation. So obviously the first thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is the blush. I have the shade Cheeky. This is the shade I used on my wedding day. I love their blush. The formulation is really creamy. If you've not tried a cream blush before, don't wait any longer. I remember my friend Kristen got me into cream blushes and it was an absolute game changer for me, especially if you have dry skin. They are so good for dry skin. Uh, so I love, love, love cream blushes. So I have the shade Cheeky already, but I've been wanting to try this other one. Here, let me open up both of them side by side. This new one that I got is called Beverly Hills, and it's slightly more peachy toned than Cheeky is. So I've been wanting to try this one because I've been really into uh, more peach tone blushes lately because I have a slightly warm skin undertone. So let's give this one a try together. And it just gives the most lovely flush to the cheeks. Oh, that's so pretty. All their products are fragrance free, by the way. They're vegan and cruelty free. I'm a huge heavy blush user though, so I go hard on the blush. It's like my favorite. I've told you guys that before. So that's the blush, number one fave. Easy pick, although it is getting a run for its money from this mascara. Talked to you about the mascara before. This is a mini size. This mascara gives you the most fluttery, beautiful, natural lashes. And I have to be honest, I'm not the best about taking off my makeup every night. Don't come at me. I know it's horrible for you. But the mascara lasts for ages. Okay, so that's the mascara. So you can see just like the most beautiful, fluttery lashes. Second pick, top pick. The third top pick, I wish I had it with me to show you. I accidentally left it at home and this is how I know it's a top pick. The Great Skin Serum that has the hyaluronic acid and all of the like moisturizing elements to it. It's the only thing that is different about my skincare routine right now. I left it on my bedside table because I was gonna use it and then pack it and then I forgot in the rush to come here. And my skin has gotten so dry around just like my chin area and it's the only thing that is different than my normal skincare routine since I've stopped using it. So the Great Skin Serum, oh my gosh, it's so good. My definitely a top top pick and now I know since I haven't been able to use it it's the only thing that's different so that's by far my third choice and then I wanted to pick an honorable mention for today's video because I've only been using it for a week so I can't say that it's like a favorite yet and like I told you in my previous videos 
Uh, I don't usually focus on a lot of lip stuff because it's not my favorite feature. But this lip oil, it's a, the Merit Tinted Lip Oil. This is in the shade Marrakesh, and I also have Au Naturel. I've been using Au Naturel quite a bit. It's almost like if skincare and uh, makeup like combined with each other. It's so moisturizing. It's so moisturizing. It's like chapstick and a lipstick in one. This is the shade Marrakesh. It's so pretty and light and yeah, it's just really wonderful. Again, I can't say it's a favorite yet because I've only been using it for a week, so I'm not gonna call it on a favorite with the level of the blush, the uh, mascara and the great skin serum, but this is definitely another standout product and a very like frequently recommended product by some of my favorite YouTubers. So I had a feeling that I would like it and it was the last thing from them that I haven't tried, but you can see for yourself how pretty it is. So those are my top picks, the blush, the mascara, the great skin serum, and then this lip tint oil is like, those are my favorites from them. So if you've been wanting to give it a try, those are my top recommendations. If you want to shop any of these, the link is down below. Any order over $40 ships free and your first order gets their signature bag, the bento bag that I've showed you before. It's really cute. So thank you so much to Merit for working with me on this video. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start my day with my fam. Let's go. Maverick, what are you doing? You're eating? Yeah. What are you baking today, Laura? Mint mousse tartlets. Yes! Oh, yeah. You look so pretty. Thank you. I'll raise my hand and raise my voice turn draw a card from the name pile and place it face up okay so these two are going to get to you to get to you outside oh this is so hard i think i'm going to choose him yes <coughs> my who is this one me. oh man <laughs> This guy, because he's just little, look at him. He's I know. I think that that one's the best one too, actually. But he's so cute. I know. And he does have socks, but this but one's like, socks, look at yes. my socks. Yes, you know? he's like, look at them. Yes. Yes. Road signs and landmarks are the only things in the snow. What, Maverick? Let, Let me know. How far I've come now, and how far I have still to go. I'll fly my we lost in the fire. And keep back to myself. I'll talk a lie and try to get to you on time. Yeah. Do you remember the toad? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm hanging out with Andrew, my mom. I'm about to start cutting out this sewing pattern that I talked to you guys about in the last vlog. We're hanging out. We've had some toadies this morning, toad in the holes. Today's um, plan of action is basically we're just gonna be hanging out at my mom's house for most of the day, my mom and dad's house. And then uh, my sister and Maverick both have half days at work, so they're gonna be coming over later. And then we're gonna play trivia later tonight at my sister's like trivia bar that she goes to. So that'll be fun. I'm gonna be working on my pattern for most of the day and it'll be relaxing and fun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Let's see here. So what are you putting over the neck? I'm gonna make this dress that has like a um, pattern mixing. It's like. Once in Royal David City Stood a lowly cattle shed Where a mother lived Cutting out my bodice pieces. This time I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the shoulders longer. This seems to be a trend with McCall's patterns for me, especially newer McCall's patterns. So I'm just gonna head it off at the pass and cut it longer. So I've cut the longest shoulder length possible um, of the sizes that I have. Like I would cut the 12 if I was cutting my size, but I'm adding a good half an inch to each side. So that generally is probably about the amount of space I would need, sometimes even more, which is crazy. I guess I just have a ton of height in my shoulders, but that's what I'm gonna try for now. Hopefully it works out. And if it ends up being too long for some reason, I can always take it in later but I'm gonna start by cutting it longer first. I've blended between sizes on the pattern. I've cut the 14 at the waist and then blended it up to a 12 at the bust line. And now I'm getting ready to cut my skirt pieces. The skirt has a little more shaping than I would like right here. You can see it kind of curves in. So I'm just gonna straighten that all the way to the end. Well, look who's here. I think this might be one of my favorites that he's done yet. This is The Swing by Fragonard, a Rococo painting, and it looks so good. Lived on earth, our savior home. dress constructed. I did a try on and some fitting with the help of Andrew. I've pinned where I want to make some changes. I'm shortening the shoulders just a little bit, but I'm really glad that I cut it longer because in the end, I think I lengthened them about half an inch or so. Um, so now I'm unpicking the waist seam because I'm going to uh, shorten the bodice a little bit as I do a lot with bodices, but yeah, it's coming together. <laughs> Mom. Starting early, huh? Mom! I didn't realize my voice was that bad. No, it's good, but I, I just, I just don't, I just don't want to listen to it all day. <laughs> oh, the honesty is <laughs> cutting. Dad's making his famous breadsticks and pizza. What you got there, Mavi? Olives. Olives? Mm -hmm. Delicious.
Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. What is it? It's 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 a can it's a canvas of just of just romantic colors. Oh. Good morning, everybody. It is day two of baking day. Uh, baking has not ensued yet, and I don't know why I, well, I guess I know why I'm so excited, because I'm the one that snacks on the baked goods. I don't bake the baked goods. But Laura is wrapping presents right now. My mom is out um, at the doctor at the moment. She has a chest x-ray this morning. Uh, Maverick is playing over here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> My dad is at work and Andrew is still sleeping. Bless him, he's not feeling very well right now. So we're just hanging out. I'm drinking my coffee out of my mug. That my mom ice got me. Outside. There is ice outside, isn't there? I'm to a pretty good stopping point on my gingham dress, so I think I'm gonna stop there for now because the rest of it I wanna use my serger at home before I can put in the zipper. So now I'm switching to, I have a blazer pattern left and the Dream Top by Memoir Patterns. This is the one where I have only the non-copy shop files because they don't come with this pattern. So I'm gonna tape it together, So I hate doing, but um, I feel like this is a good opportunity to do that. So I'm going to tape this pattern together and then hopefully cut out this cute top that has all these adorable pleats and stuff on it. I've been wanting to make this for literally like three years now and I still haven't made it yet because I'm so averse to taping together PDF patterns. All right, let's get started. taping together my next project. What is it? What is it? It's a uh, top, a tank top. Walking home now. get some ramen tonight. It's Christmas day. We don't have really any groceries since we got back and um, obviously and what, most things are closed. What says holiday spirit like ramen? I know. Oh, it's gonna be so nice and warming though.
arrogant moon. How dare it be positioned so perfectly in the sky. day of my PTO before I go back to work tomorrow. I'm going to spend it crafting all day. We are home now. I've unpacked all my bags and I want to work on finishing my gingham dress. All it has left is a zipper, hemming the bottom, and then I think I might redo the hem I did on the side splits because it's kind of creating these little like ears where the side split starts so I think I might like try to redo those or zhuzh them up in some way so it's like more of a seamless line so I'm going to be working on that that really should not take long at all to finish that project and then after that I'm going to cut out a blazer the heather blazer while I was in Tennessee I did tape together finally the dream top so that will be happening at some point um, I could potentially cut that project out today that would be a quick one um, but yeah, I'm excited about that Heather blazer in that like set, that coordinated set, like the Heather blazer with those pants that like match in the same color. Like I'm really looking forward to making those and the fit of those trousers. Hopefully I've not made the pattern that I'm going to use for that yet, but because it's not an ultra fitted trouser like the Audrey trousers, I don't think I'll, I'm not anticipating a lot of issues with it because it's like a baggier fit anyway, stylistically. So yeah. That's the plan for that today. I'm watching some YouTube, drinking some coffee, and I'm excited to finish up this dress project and start something new. Right now I'm looking through my zipper options and I've narrowed it down to taking these two out. I did consider an invisible zip, but I think that would be a real challenge with making the fabrics line up on this. I just think this one's easier. This is gonna be easier. Um, I'm between the nude zipper uh, that you would see really just the teeth with or doing something more like a feature zip. I think doing like a very visible uh, metal feature zipper will kind of modernize the dress a bit, but I don't know if it's just too much because of all of the other things going on with this dress, all the different fabrics decided to pin it on just to take a look and now I'm even more convinced. So here's what the zip, the metal teeth looks like. And then here's, you know, just holding it up what the tan zipper looks like. And this I feel just makes it look homemade in the bad way whereas this looks more professional I think for this dress in particular. So I'm definitely going to go with that zip. This is like kind of overkill though. It's a heavy zipper. That's like for a jacket or for a bag or something like that. So it is a heavy zipper and this is quite lightweight fabric so I hope it doesn't like drag the whole dress down or make it uncomfortable in any way but it's got to be it's got to be that zipper over this one for sure. I didn't show you much of this while I was in Tennessee, but here's a little look at some of the finishings I've gone for. So like I said, I didn't have a serger. So for now I have trimmed these with the zigzag scissors that I have. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough to stop linen from fraying, but I'm kind of curious. So I'm gonna leave that for now and put it through the wash and just see what happens. Uh, for the armholes and the neckline, I've bound it with bias binding that's invisible from the outside. So that's what that looks like. I'm ha really happy with that. It allowed me to get a lot more use out of the fabric that I had, so I didn't have to cut a lining for the top. Uh, for the waistline seam and then the center front seam, I've left those raw knowing that I was going to come back here and use my serger to finish those off. So I'm going to go back over this with my serger to close those. Um, and then use my serger to finish this seam. And then for the side seams and uh, on the bodice and on the skirt, I have French seamed it together, but it's creating this sort of like ear, well, French seamed it right here and then uh, just like hemmed it, but it's creating this little like ear, like for lack of a better word, that's making this part stick out right here when I have it on. So I need to kind of reanalyze this part 
right here. I may go back and serge it and then uh, like iron it and re I don't know, I have, to, I have to do some figuring out for how to make this little like ear part go away. Uh, but that's basically the finishing for now. And I, like I said, I still need to hem the bottom. Um, and then I'm about to do the zipper right now. Okay, zip is inserted. What do we think? I know this dress is gonna be probably a love it or you hate it kind of thing. I think I have a really, really good fit on the waistline. It fits so well. If there's anything I could do to fix it, it's that there's a little bit of excess up at the back neck. I honestly could stand to take that in like another half an inch or so, but it's not so much that it's worth redoing the whole zipper in my opinion. So yeah, that's the dress. The only thing I have left to do is insert my label. I've done all the finishing on the inside that I've talked about with my serger, and then I need to hem the bottom. I am gonna leave it long. Originally, I was thinking I would do a midi length dress. Hmm, should I? Sorry, I'm trying to hike this up so I can see what would look better. I mean, it does actually look quite cute at that, like, skimming the ankle length rather than all the way to the floor and then you could see my shoes better so actually I think I will do that maybe I'll do like a three inch deep hem I'll do a deep hem on the bottom that's the last thing to do and then it's finished and then I can move on to a new project but I'm so pleased with how this turned out I know this dress will not be for everybody but if it's for you, hopefully it will give you some inspo and you don't even have to do all ginghams. You could pattern mix with like florals and stripes and a solid or something, depending on how loud you want it to be. But I just loved that inspiration that I came across when doing this. So I wanted to do something similar, just like a different color. I do wish that this gingham was the same scale as this one. I do think that that would look better overall, but it really wasn't available, so it wasn't possible. But if for some reason I ever come across like a red orange gingham in a half an inch check, then I would actually just, I would take it apart and um, reinsert those two skirt panels because I think it would be worth doing if I ever come across that. But until then, I love it just the way that it is. I think it's a gorgeous summer appropriate dress and I cannot wait to wear this when warmer weather comes. Sunday evening reset on a Monday. We've just gone to the grocery store. I am about to make a nice little late lunch for us. Put away the groceries. <laughs> Crafting our hearts out. soup on the stove simmering away on low and now that I've done that I'm going to go ahead and prep the dinner for tonight so this is for lunch it's a really late lunch so I guess we're gonna also be having a late dinner but I'm making the marinade what what I'm making the marinade for tonight's dinner as well this is gonna go on chicken I'll leave the recipes for both of these linked below but this is like a lemon balsamic chicken it's really really good we've made this one um, before and this is a stuffed red pepper soup there's some rice cooking on the stove top over there and then andrew's making some garlic butter to make for to make for some garlic bread i think we're just gonna do like a small bowl of soup to tide us over until dinner time technically i'm meal prepping this for the rest of the week so we'll just have a small little bowl of soup and then do our lemon balsamic chicken. 
uh, later this evening. Okay, here's the finished soup. Sorry, it's not very pretty anymore because I've been eating it, but I want to say this is the deliciousness of stuffed peppers without all of the work of stuffed peppers. So if you like stuffed peppers, I would definitely give this recipe a try. It is delicious. We used wild rice in ours and we didn't have any marjoram like the recipe called for, so I used oregano because I looked it up and that's the closest, actually more flavorful cousin to marjoram. So we use oregano, some salt and pepper. I think it could do with some spicy. Oh, I substituted one of the cans of petite diced tomatoes with Rotel because I wanted to make it a little bit spicier. And I think that that worked to my advantage. It's well, pretty good. You did the Rotel? Mm-hmm. One can of Rotel and one can of petite diced tomatoes. Yeah, I think that's the right call. Mm-hmm. So it gives it just a little extra spice to it. And I personally like the love spicy, so I would add chili flakes to this as well in the future. Andrew's making his little garlic breads for us to dip in. It's gonna be delish. Because you know, I love stuffed peppers, but they're such a faff to like stuff, the actually stuff the peppers, they don't stay together. They're kind of hard to eat, honestly, with a fork and knife. They're just messy. So the soup, 10 out of 10. Okay, excuse my super red nose and probably nasally voice, but definitely trying to get over a cold right now. We ate our stuffed pepper soup. So, so, so good. Um, and now we're gonna have some crafting time again. So I've already cut out all of my pattern pieces for the Heather Blazer by Friday Pattern Company. I'm using this really, really beautiful tensile uh, twill from Mood in the pale beige color. I'll leave it linked below. I had enough, um, Bember Grayon from a previous project to use this kind of taupe brown color. The one that I bought to match this light pale beige, it was like pale beige, it was super, super gray. And I just, I don't know, I didn't like it together. I preferred the brown look. I wanted it to lean more brown than to lean gray. And I know it's just a lining, but I just preferred this. So I had enough left over from a previous project to do that. Um, and now I'm going to get started on sewing it. The only modifications that I'm making are I'm leaving off the patch pockets on it so it's not going to have pockets on the blazer, which is kind of a bummer. I might think about adding like an interior pocket on the inside, but stylistically I don't really want a patch pocket on it. Um, and I've cut a size that kind of blends the small and the medium. It's a very oversized fit so I think that'll give me the look that I want in the end. I've cut this blazer before and this is a similar thing to what I've done in the past. I cut a blend between the small and the medium, small up on the bodice or bodice, small up around the bust and then uh, medium down toward my waist and hips area. Love the fit of it so let's get going. <laughs> from the walks, made my deviled eggs, and I wanted to come to the living room to show you a new development 
<laughs> of the decor in the room. So excuse the cat box. We're kind of rethinking this area in general, but we've had these two pieces of artwork that we've wanted to hang over here for ages. And so we've just now gotten around to it. Andrew made these frames. We've had some glass cut from a local glass cutter to fit them. And I just think it really completes the space and the room. I love how it looks in here. Oh, there's my new dress. <laughs> yeah, so the prints are a Toulouse-Lautrec print. And then this is a print um, from my days working at a letterpress studio in college. So yeah, I love them together. Let me back out a little bit so you can see. But yeah, I think it just looks so great in the room. I'm so excited about it. And then I made quite a bit of progress on my Heather blazer yesterday. I've got the sleeves set in. I've checked my other one that I've made and they are not quite so gathered like it looks here, but there is so much extra fabric on it. So they're gonna have a little bit of a gather up at the top. It's not really bothering me. Um, so I'm, I'm fine with it, but yeah, it's coming together. I really love the color so much of this fabric. So I'm really excited about that. And I think that's everything for this vlog. I'm going to put down my camera and then pick it right back up to start the next one. Don't forget if you're interested in shopping Merit Beauty products to use my link in the description box. And I think that's all I have for you for this one. There's a lot that was happening in this video. Family time, New York City stuff, crafting, cooking. It's always the works when it comes to my videos, but I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you've been having a wonderful holiday season. This is my last video of this year. The next one will be in the new year. Maybe we should talk about um, my like goals list again. If that's not your thing, that's totally fine, but I love doing like a list of things I'd like to try in the new year. So maybe we could talk about that in the next video. But anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season and I will see you in the next one. Bye.